This is the Emmanuel Family Devotion for Tuesday, February the 9th. We look at another hymn from this past Sunday, Hail to the Lord's Anointed, number 398, or in your bulletin. Rhetorical questions are commonly used to emphasize a point. They aren't really meant to be answered, only for better focus. They can be rude. What, are you stupid? <laughs> no answer necessary. A long time ago, Dial Soap used rhetorical questions in their advertising. Aren't you glad you use Dial? Don't you wish everyone did? No answer necessary. This hymn, Hail to the Lord's Anointed, originally ended with a rhetorical question. It has been changed in our hymnal. After talking at length about what Christ can do in the lives of his people, the last line of the hymn originally asked the question, His name, what is it? Love. The rhetorical question is in fact answered, but not to my satisfaction. I am pushed to ask, what is love? I do not ask rhetorically. For you see, when it comes to the love of God, rhetorical questions, questions with no answers, are never enough. Unfortunately, this hymn, though beautiful and all about Christ, it fails to adequately answer the question about who Christ is. It never really gets to the essence of his love. It never gets to the cross and the empty tomb for you and me. It assumes you know that love. Well, I've shared this many times and will again now. The motto of my ministry from the beginning, and it's not original to me, the motto of my ministry has been, the gospel assumed is the gospel denied. What that means is the gospel, by its nature, needs to be spoken. And so you will hear the gospel in my sermons, children's messages, prayers, these devotions, and in my conversation. When it comes to the gospel, rhetorical questions are never enough. And so the answer to the original hymn ending, His name, what is it? The only answer is Christ crucified and risen for you. Please pray with me. Heavenly Father, there is no question about your love for me. You have fully answered my need in the sacrifice of your Son for me. Put the gospel not only in my heart, but in my mouth. In Jesus' name, amen. We'll see you tomorrow.